So welcome to this small video section in Dynamic Foundry Group. Today we have a very interesting topic that is Nobec Core Costing. The presentation content, material and sand mixing cost, labor cost, paint cost, other and power cost, rejection and vestiges, overheads and profit, total cost of Nobec Core making, and factors affecting Nobec cost score. Let us take example for better understanding. Let us assume we are making DFG wall housing core in Nobec. The core weight is 40 kg. Core box is operated manually, having one hollow piece inserted to reduce core weight. So the 40 kg weight is with uh, reduction of core weight with the inserted hollow piece and uh, this is a no back core as i am we are working on no back costing so let us start with the costing first we go to material and sand mixing cost material required for no back core making is binder a part and binder p b part as well as silica sand here we can assume that silica sand which we are using is having a fs 50 to 60. so silica sand that is no big silica sign we can say a rate three rupees weight of the core is 40 kg so the cost will be around 120 uh, amount will be 120 rupees no big a part we are consuming uh, assuming that we are using two percent of a part and 1.5 percent of b part so we can get total amount that is 274 rupees for 40 kg core so the cost per kg of material and sand mixing will be around 6 rupees 85 paisa per kg of code so we get our first cost that is 6 rupees 85 paisa so we go to labor cost labor cost is uh, number of operators per or person required will depend on the core box size or weight of the core etc uh, it also depends on how you are doing it manually or uh, automatic uh, way so it will also decide the labor cost as well but you here we are doing this manually so there will be two persons required for 12 hours producing around 30 cores including painting so total core weight will be produced in one sheet by these two operators will be around 1200 kg so labor cost can be calculated like that one operator rate is 750 rupees i assume the helper rate is I assume, 650 rupees. So uh, two helpers and one operator. So it will be around, uh, including painting, it will be around 2050 rupees. So the cost will be 1 rupee 71 paisa per kg of core is your labor cost. Then we go to paint cost. Uh, painting, uh, here we are assuming alcohol based paint used for the painting of this part paint required and cost will be calculated like this alcohol fix uh, around 1.5 percent of core weight and thinner will be around two percent of core weight so the total cost will be around 72 rupees and with the weight of the core is 40 kg the painting cost will be around one rupee 80 paisa per uh, per kg of core weight other costs it includes uh, costs like hand blows mask hammers releasing agent etc so it also includes power cost as well uh, so let us assume the total other cost will be around 0.75 per kg of core weight so with that normally there will be some vestiges with now rejections and uh, that has to be included in the cost so the core rejection we are assuming around two percent at core making stage we are assuming around three percent of sand vestiges in the core making and there will be around two percent of core breakage during storage and handling so total rejection and core wastage will be around seven percent so assuming that seven uh, percent we have to calculate the cost then we go to overheads and profit overheads and profit is considered around six percent of total uh, of the um, material plus labor cost uh, we can reduce this cost by increasing the productivity and more capacity utilization to reduce or uh, to dilute this cost now we go to uh, next slide first 
that is the total cost we see in material and sand mixing cost is 6 rupees 85 paisa labor cost is 1 rupees 71 paisa painting cost is 1 rupees 80 paisa we have seen other material and power cost is we have assumed 0 0.75 so subtotal is around 11 rupees 11 paisa we are add 7 percent of rejection and breakage to it it will be around 0 0.78 rupees per kg of core weight so total cost will be 11.89 and then we put uh, 6 percent over on over it's on this cost is 0 0.67 so total cost will be around 12. Point uh, 55 paisa per kg of core weight. So this 12.55 paisa uh, is the cost per kg of core weight. Uh, this cost including everything that is material, binder, sand, painting, labor, power, overheads, everything is included in it. However, there are few areas which can affect this cost and if we work on these points, we can reduce this cost definitely. There are some of the points which are discussing now. Uh, the factors affecting Nobel cost number one is the important factor is to control and monitor and reduce binder as consumption so if you able to reduce your binding binder consumption that is a part b part consumption definitely will get a huge impact in your overall costing so try to reduce that uh, a part and b part uh, here need to understand that uh, higher binder addition or higher addition of binders uh, gets changed with the respect to season. So in Nobek, we know that A part and B part is, are not constant. With respect to season, we have to change these additions. Uh, due to more curing time required in, in winter and rainy season, the additions of binder may go up by 15 to 25%, which increases the cost by around 25 to 35 per kg in those seasons. So it is very important to maintain that curing time and addition adequate try to avoid uh, manufacturing of those cores in night shift especially early morning where the when the uh, there is very cold season available and curing will not be that faster so try to use uh, daytime more core making so that you can reduce your cost uh, it is important to maintain enough curing time to get good strength and stability of core is very important that is curing time is very important Thing to get good strength and stability of course so do not uh, make compromise on curing time but at the same time you have to ensure that whatever added added additive additions are there you need to maintain or to control it for your cost benefit productivity is another important area of concern for reducing your cost more is your productivity, less will be labor cost as well as overheads also get diluted. So provide enough resources and uh, so that they can get more productivity. For example, mixers availability, mixer size, number of uh, core boxes running at a time, the requirement of manpower, the distance between the mixer and uh, actual molding area distance between molding area and painting area the handling and storage should be re reduced and minimized all these things will definitely help you to reduce your labor cost as well as your uh, increase your productivity as well so it is very important factor uh, reduction in rejection and wastages will help you to reduce your cost we are assuming seven percent if you re reduce it to five percent or four percent definitely that two to three percent will be direct uh, uh can be saved in your cost so it's very important to reduce that rejection and vestiges and for that it is very important to have good storage facility uh proper handling of course should be done the distance between core making and core uh, con consumption area there is molding area and core shop area should be minimized there should be proper mechanized trolleys or uh, you can say some some sort of trays to handle those core or transport those core from one side one area to another area so the manual interference should be minimized to reduce vestiges and rejections that will help you in reducing your cost another way is to use some reclaimed sand which will help you in reducing both sand cost as well as binder addition uh, by using reclaimed sand you can reduce some binder addition as well so by experience up to 
15 to 20 percent reclaimed sand if we use around 0.5 to 0.75 per kg of cost will be get reduced so this is another way you can reduce your cost uh, it will also help you to uh, avoid dumping of those sand material uh, use the sand material in the uh, areas and you can work on environmental aspect as well also core weight can be reduced by making core hollow in this particular our example we already have made core core hollow but you can further go and reduce the weight of the core by putting some uh, hollow piece inside the core and your core weight will get less and you will total cost at the end at the end uh, for the casting will be will get reduced because of this hollow portion of the core so this is from my side thank you very much and uh, thank you